the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 197, 2 Kings 21 to 23. Final Evaluation of Monarchy During the rule of Manasseh, the evils of royal rule which God warned about became clearly revealed. The time came near when the final settlement of the 500 years of monarchy was carried out. First point. When Manasseh became king of South Judah, the fall of monarchy, which was warned by Samuel, in the early days started to become reality. Manasseh's rule truly showed that monarchy was ultimately to come to an end as warned previously by Samuel. Manasseh did such evil in the eyes of the Lord that God proclaimed destruction on him. After Manasseh died, his son Ammon took over, and he followed in the ways of his father. Consequently, he was killed by his servants, but the people of South Judah attacked the servants who killed him and made Ammon's son Josiah the next king. Josiah became king at the young age of eight, but despite so, he did not follow in the way of his grandfather and father, but rather carried out justice. During the reign of Josiah, Passover, which had not been kept since the days of Samuel, was kept. Since the division of Israel into the north and south, Josiah was the king who tried his best to keep to the laws of the kingdom of priests. Despite Josiah's efforts, God still did not calm his anger against South Judah. The punishment of South Judah had already been decided. Later, Josiah died in war when the Egyptian king went by South Judah to go to war. To evaluate the system of monarchy thus far, it started with Saul and then was passed to David and then Solomon. Each ruled for 40 years and so their total number of years was 120. After Solomon's death, the country was divided and this continued for 200 years. North Israel was maintained for 200 years and during this time, 19 kings reigned with multiple coup d'etats in between and they fell in the hands of Assyria. South Judah went on for a further 150 years and then fell in the hands of Babylon. Twenty of David's descendants reigned as kings in South Judah. The few kings of South Judah who went in the way of David were firstly Asa, the third king. The second was Jehoshaphat, the fourth king. The third was Joash, the eighth king. The fourth was Hezekiah, the thirteenth king. The fifth was Josiah, the sixteenth king. After finding the books of Moses' laws, Josiah read it with the people of South Judah. The fair and righteous God now weighed everything and decided to put an end to the 350 years of South Judah. This marked the end of the monarchy system as a whole. Second point, King Manasseh did not follow in the footsteps of Hezekiah or David, but rather in the way of the kings of North Israel. Manasseh took over the reign of Hezekiah as the 14th king of South Judah at the age of 12. Among the 20 kings of South Judah, he reigned for the longest, 55 years. His evil was so vast that it was truly a pitiful sight. Manasseh worshipped idols and Molech, mocked the temple, and did other countless evil. It got to the point of worshipping idols in the Jerusalem temple. Thus, he was put aside as the worst king, that he was wicked in the eyes of the Lord, was emphasized three times, 
in 2 Kings chapter 21. Manasseh's son Amon reigned after his father as the 15th king of South Judah. Amon's sins equated to that of his father. Third point, Josiah did not follow in his father Amon or his grandfather Manasseh's way, but rather in the way of God's servant David. After Manasseh and Amon was Josiah. He became the 16th king of South Judah at the age of 8. Although he became king at a very young age, he did not follow in his grandfather or father's footsteps, but later chose to go in the way of David. Thus, he was righteous in the eyes of the Lord. Manasseh and Ammon showed interest in worshipping idols, but Josiah was interested in God's temple. In the process of cleansing the temple, the high priest Hilkiah discovered the book of laws written by Moses. Josiah repented before God and truly turned to him. When Josiah read the book of the laws, he went to find the prophet Fulda, who was living in Jerusalem at the time. The content of what was said through the prophet Fulda can be found in 2 Kings 22 verses 16 to 17. After hearing this, Josiah repented before God, and so God postponed judgment to after Josiah's slain. All in all, God's judgment on South Judah occurred in 586 BC with the attack of Nebuchadnezzar from Babylon. Fourth point, Josiah thoroughly studied Moses' laws and desired to live by a kingdom of priests. The laws of a kingdom of priests which was given to Moses on Mount Sinai, became hard again to South Judah through Josiah. Josiah held a religious reformation which involved the whole nation reading the books in the temple and renewing their covenant. Next, Josiah got rid of all the idols in South Judah. Josiah furthermore got rid of all the idols in North Israel. Next thing he did was to keep Passover. Fifth point, with the death of Josiah began the opening of the end of 500 years of monarchy. In 609 BC, the king of Egypt decided to make an alliance with the remaining Assyrian troops and to bloom again as a powerful empire. It was here that Josiah of South Judah tried to stop this war and was killed in the fields. After the death of Josiah, things started to go downhill for South Judah. Josiah's sons Jehu Ahaz and Jehu Yakim took over from their father, but this was the period when Babylon started to grow more powerful. Jehu Ahaz became the 17th king of South Judah. He was appointed by the people but his reign only lasted for three months. And he was taken to Egypt, where he was killed. The king of Egypt then made Jehoiakim the next king. Jehoiakim spent the first part of his reign offering tribute to Egypt. And then when Babylon started to threaten South Judah, he started to send tribute to Babylon as well. And Egypt eventually fell in 605 BC. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.